Hi, I'm Jules Middleton and I am the author of Breaking the Mould, Learning to Thrive as a Ministry Mum. And SPCK have asked me to just share a few thoughts about uh, what it's like as a ministry mum in lockdown. Um, so a couple of little pictures for you. Um, first one is this, this looks all neat and lovely. The view that I have is less so. There is paint and mess over there. There is a washing that needs to be sorted. There is a bin bag in the corner of this room that has been there for three days. So probably gives you a little idea of uh, the balance of how it's been. It's been a roller coaster, all of the emotions. Um, my first uh, online leading of morning prayer, you could hear my son slamming the toilet seat in the background. Didn't realize that till afterwards, it was live. Uh, my first Zoom meeting with my colleagues, my husband almost, thankfully almost, my husband almost walked in without any trousers on. So yeah, there have been some interesting uh, moments. And uh, like many of you, I'm sure, been rethinking how to do ministry, how to parent, how to live, frankly. So it's been um, an interesting few weeks. I think there's definitely been some real highs and lows and I know having spoken to many of my own parishioners and other ministry mums that actually we're, we're all many of us in the same boat um, having some real lows and some real highs. Um, for me I think it was after the first few weeks of just working non-stop crazy days just trying to work out how how we do church, how we minister, how we be church in all of this and um, after about a month of that I realised that this this was not going to work in this season, hadn't seen my kids for days even though we're all in the same house together so I've actually dropped my hours during this season and um, I think it's been the best thing that I did, um, that was definitely a low point. Um, uh, higher points have been um, my two teenagers who are obviously at home. Um, if someone had said to me a month ago, you're going to spend the next few months locked down in a house with your teens with no escape, I would have been terrified, got to be honest. But actually, it's been all right. We've had some lovely times. We've um, played a lot of garden cricket. We've uh, exercised together. We've um, and my daughter, my youngest daughter and I, we spent um, a day this week just painting. There's a mess still over there, and that's fine. I'm completely calm about that. Um, my, oh, we've had, we've done some silly themed days. So we, the last one was uh, Australia Day, only three months after the actual Australia Day, but we, we dressed up. We had a barbecue, of course, and uh, the kids made lamingtons, which are like an Australian cake. Um, so we've had some really lovely moments together as well, and it's been everything in between. I know that um, having spoken to other ministry mums and parents that um, some of you are finding the same, that there are some really difficult times and some really good times. And uh, I think that's probably uh, normal for most of us. Um, I know some, particularly those of you with toddlers or with kids with special educational needs, how difficult it has been for you. And I absolutely take my hat off to you. Um, I think if I can um, just offer one word of advice is to be kind to yourself. Um, there's a lot in the book about um, expectations and pressures and you're not sacrificing yourself. And it's so easy to do that, to give in to the pressures and the expectations of others and of ourselves. And so if I can just say to you, this is the thing I've probably said to most people recently, is just be kind to yourself. Um, it's the kind of thing that vicars dole out all the time, but really, I think more than ever, let's just be kind to ourselves. Do you know what? If your child spends three hours on the iPad this afternoon, they're going to be fine. And maybe you just need that space while they do that. If you need to take a day off, take some time off, please. If, um, if you're trying to homeschool and it's just too much, do you know what? I honestly think if your kids don't learn anything educationally for the next few months, then they'll be fine. And they're probably learning other stuff anyway. So I think um, that's the best thing that we can do is to um, be kind to ourselves. There's a, there's a quote in here about um, vocation being about what we're called to be and to do. And I think at the moment, probably a few of us need to focus more on the being than the doing. And I speak to myself in that. I have honestly had to take my own advice a lot <laughs> in the last uh, few weeks, definitely. And there's a, there's a great quote in here from um, Rachel Held Evans, um, who was an author, a Christian author, and she um, wrote about um, the Proverbs 31 woman and the, the woman of valour. And she used to use that as a term of encouragement for other women. So I want to say to you, particularly any of you, but particularly if you're a woman, if you're a mother, if you're a minister and you're struggling right now, I just want to say to you, you are a woman of valour. You are doing your best. You are loved and you are worthy. And that is what counts. So, yeah.
there's mess, there's less mess, there's fun times, there's low times, but whatever we're doing right now, let's just be kind to ourselves, focus on who God has made us to be, and, um, and we will get through this. And just to finish up, the lovely people at SPCK are doing a giveaway for the book. So if you would like a copy of this book, you'd like to win one free of charge, all you have to do is uh, retweet or share this video, depending on what medium you are watching it on, and uh, you will be entered uh, in a draw to win a copy of the book. If you don't win, sorry about that, but you can still buy it on the SPCK website or other online book retailers, maybe in your independent bookshop uh, locally. And um, I, I would like to say there is a lot of good advice in here. <laughs> um, there's Whether you're a minister or a mum, you know, if you're a parent, if you're a Christian, there's some good stuff in here about um, uh, about just, you know, getting, getting through life uh, the best way that we possibly can. So go buy it.